while understanding the efficient market hypothesis and the components of these hypotheses there are certain tests available in the empirical finance literature that can be used in order to see whether the data support any of these efficient market hypotheses or not in this regard the first hypothesis to test is the uh, weak form efficient market hypothesis so let's see what are the test and their results available in the empirical literature in this particular case the first test in order to test the support of weak form efficient market hypothesis is the statistical tests of independence between the rates of return and in this particular case there are two types of tests the first is the autocorrelation test that have some mixed results the second test is the run test that indicate the randomness in the security prices now there are certain constraints that are experienced by the researchers and these are available in the empirical literature uh, there is also a solution to these constraints the solution is that the an investigator should use only publicly available data he should include all the transaction cost and finally the investigator should adjust the results for riskiness the results generally support the weak form efficient market hypothesis but uh, the results are not unanimous the second test in this regard is the test of trading rules uh, where the comparison of trading rules to a buy and hold policy is difficult because of trading rules can be uh, complex and there are too many trading rules to test them all therefore there is an other rule that is the filter rule uh, the empirical literature shows that filter rules yield above average or the abnormal returns uh, with small profits small filters but only before taking taking into account the transaction cost of a trade done by the investor also these trading rules results have been mixed and most of them have not been able to beat a buy and hold policy 